Hey guys, so today we're going to be rebuilding the transmission slave cylinder. That's the cylinder that actually goes on the transmission to activate the clutch or disengage the clutch. And so this is what it looks like here. I've already taken off the boot, so this is what it looks like when it's assembled. So we just take off the, uh, the boot and the, uh, the pin here. And what we see is there is the, uh, the piston which moves in and out when you push the pedal and you have the fluid lines connected. The problem is how do we get that piston out because we're going to be replacing it with a brand new one. We can see the brand new one in here. And that's because the seals on the piston get worn out. So I mean you can buy a, a whole new slave cylinder and it comes with everything assembled. Or you can buy the rebuild kit. And the rebuild kit is about the same price as a new slave cylinder but the thing is I recently tried to buy one of these and it was the wrong configuration. Even though I had the right part number, for some reason the whole the layout was wrong, so all the hard lines on the transmission didn't line up. So I'm going to have to rebuild it using the kit instead. Um, so good idea. You can get it from directly from Toyota or whatever OEM you have. So again, back to the problem. How do we get this piston out of here? Well, you can. One of the, one of the, peop the suggestions people have is to use compressed air and blow in one of these holes here and that pushes the piston out uh, forces it out and you can just get it but I don't have compressed air so the other option is to pull it out so what I do have is this one-handed vacuum pump for brake bleeding one-man brake bleeding and it comes with this suction cup here um, most kits should have this suction cup adapter that come with it and what you do is you just put the suction cup adapter on the end of the slave clutch create a vacuum and this pulls Instead of pushing it out with compressed air, we're actually pulling it out with a vacuum. This pulls the piston, uh, the, yeah, the piston out, and we can remove it, clean up the cylinder or the slave clutch, put the new cylinder in, the new boot, and the new spring. And that's all there is to it. So all you need here is a vacuum pump. Good on it. So here's just a comparison between the old piston cylinder and the new one. And you can see here the main difference is see how this one has raised edges on the lips. See those raised edges? There's two seals there. Whereas this one has been used, those raised edges have been pushed down and worn off. And once those get so worn, this, the uh, cylinder will actually start leaking. So that's why you have to replace this so that it doesn't leak. And you can also see the new boot. Looks good. So we'll get this all... Uh, we, we should get the, the, the piston greased up with um, the brake grease, so it's that red lithium based grease. It didn't actually come with any in the, in, the, uh, in the kit here, but I do have some left over from a brake job. Let me see if I can just grab that here really quick. One sec. 